back. It is like a couple weeks later, I'm not gonna lie. And I have been struggling to get on the New Year's bus. So I thought I would share what I have so far in my big happy planner for 2022. Kind of go over what I've got going on and um, yeah, give you an update. So I have the beginning part. I franken planned this together and you can, um, you know, if you have any questions about anything, you can always leave them in the comments, but I stamped all of this is close to my heart. I will link it down below the stamp sets. This alpha is my favorite. I think it's called Daisy. So I will link that down below. And then I'm not going to share like the personal parts of the journaling and stuff that I've done, the Bible study, but I did want to show you what I did. So on the monthly spread in the first section where I do all of my Bible study, um, I have um, taken a scripture from each day. So whatever is from my reading that sticks out to me, I will write it here in the day. <clears throat> Excuse me, in the monthly view. These are all stickers from the Archer and Olive monthly themed kit. This is, there's two each month. This one was the January and then there's a January florals. So I got the January and I'm just going to add bits and bobs. It comes with washi tape, four rolls of washi tape, um, a roll of these stickers that fit perfectly in these boxes, um, four sticker sheets, two have just the snowflakes and then two have the days of the week and some like um, planner type stickers. It comes with an acrylograph pen and a metal stencil. So I used that to complete this January. I plan to get them each month. I didn't get both of them. Um, and I plan to get the February themed one to do the February monthly spread. All right, then what I did to mark my place I, I'm going to flip this back because I don't want you guys reading the journaling. I mean, nothing, nothing personal, but I just want to try to keep some level of my life private. All right. So these I made, they're like dividers. So I have these dividers here for the months, but I was finding it time consuming to flip to the spot that I was at. So what I did was I bought these, they're cutting mats from the Dollar Tree. You've probably seen people use them in other ways. And I cut it to fit, it fits this page perfectly, y'all. The, the height of it is perfect. And what I'm going to do is I've also added an Avery index tab and I'm going to label it. And that's going to mark my place for where I'm at each week in my Bible study. I also plan to use stickers that come with any of the Bible study kits that I do um, and just fill up this page throughout the year. So I finished the Compassion Cures Bible study and it is by Illustrated Faith. I will link it below if it's still available. Um, I will show you kind of some of the things. So this, all of this um, die cut ephemera is from there. This page I cut right out. I just took it out and punched it because it's a perfect size. And I am going to back it with another piece of pattern paper and probably stamp some of my favorite takeaways from the Bible study. And then it comes with stickers and all the things. So I plan to use this throughout the year and just add the stickers because most of the Bible journaling Bible studies come with a theme sticker by the Wolf for God an Illustrated Faith. They all come with that. So that is what I did for that divider. Then my next section is for prayer. I don't plan to use the monthly spread at all for this one, but what I do each day is I list my prayers up at the top. I list my prayers, I list my praises, I list some things that are speaking to me for my Bible study, and then I write out a prayer down here. This is the leftover piece from this, and I thought it would be a perfect addition to mark my place. I plan to add some stamping here. I'm not sure what, but um, when I do, I will, you know, I'll film it for you guys so you can see it. All right, so that is that section. The next section is, I haven't done any of this because I was waiting on some stamps to come in. 
This is going to be for my daily um, Bible writing plan. And I am going to be following the 2021 Illustrated Faith. Illustrated Faith. Goodness, English is hard today. Um, Bible writing plan for last year, the Beloved Society. So I was waiting on some stamps to come so that I could do the month because these are completely undated, as you can see. So I'm going to stamp the month and the days and add some embellishments. And it's just a monthly spread. And that's it. So I'm going to do that each month. And then I have a divider. One of these same things, they come in a pack of two. So I cut the second one in half, used half here and half there. And then the last section is my lettering section. Y'all, I don't know. I do not know. We'll see. I'm going to just continue to practice. This is my husband. Is this not so funny? All of these are my husband because I was getting frustrated that I couldn't get the hang of it. And these, these are all my husband's. Is that not so funny? He's like, let me try. And then he tried it and he's like, wow, that is hard. <laughs> Oh gosh. Okay. So, and I plan to add a label here so it's easy to flip through. As you can see, I haven't done a lot this week. I usually do this at night when we watch TV. Um, so I will work on that tonight. And then I have some extra lettering paper in the back and then notes section. I don't plan to add any top dividers, but that is my 2022 happy planner big sized and this is kind of like my faith planner mostly my faith planner in the back I'm going to put notes from church I keep them in a different binder and then I'll add them as they get full so thank you guys so much for tuning in I will link all the things that I use down below so you can check them out I don't think any of them are affiliate links yet but you can check them out and um, see if anything sparks your interest. I am so glad you're here. Um, if you are not a subscriber, I would love if you would consider becoming one. And make sure you hit the not notification bell to see when I post new videos. It will notify you straight to your phone. So I will be back with a little update probably face-to-face -face very soon and kind of update you on my plans for 2022 all the things going on and yeah, let's kick 2022's butt. No, just kidding. Um, we're going to do the thing and some days will be easy and some days will be hard, but we are going to just keep pressing on. All right, y'all. I hope that you have a beautiful day and I hope that you find time to be creative until next time. Bye.